Roberta Kaplan, a prominent attorney known for taking on a number of cases against former President Donald Trump, has revealed a new incident involving his behavior during a deposition at his Mar-a-Lago estate. The incident occurred while Kaplan was gathering testimony for a lawsuit in which Trump was accused of collaborating with a fraudulent marketing company. Kaplan detailed the alleged incident and an appearance on the George Conway Explains It All to Sarah Longwell podcast, explaining that Trump wanted to continue working through the lunch break, but she turned down his offer. Kaplan stated, there was a huge pile of documents, exhibits, sitting in front of him, and he took the pile and he just threw it across the table and stormed out of the room. The lawyer also revealed that Trump's attorney, Alina Habba, faced the brunt of the consequences for the incident. He really yelled at Alina for that. He was so mad at Alina, she said. According to Kaplan, Trump returned and asked her how she liked the lunch provided by his legal team. She responded by saying, you know, I can never really eat when I'm taking testimony. Trump then claimed he had instructed his team to provide her with bad sandwiches, but they ended up making a regular meal. Kaplan also mentioned that Trump directed a derogatory phrase at her as she was leaving the deposition. She said he told her, see you next Tuesday, and it was then revealed to her by colleagues that the phrase had a more offensive meaning. This incident comes only a week after Kaplan successfully represented E. Jean Carroll in a high-profile defamation case against Trump. Carroll, a former L columnist, was awarded $83.3 million in damages after Trump disparaged her and denied sexually assaulting her in the 1990s. The jury's decision consisted of $18.3 million in compensatory damages, $11 million for repairing Carroll's reputation, $7.3 million for emotional harm caused by Trump's defamatory statements, and $65 million in punitive damages for alleged malicious behavior. Trump quickly denounced the verdict on his social media platform, Truth Social, calling it absolutely ridiculous and stating his intention to appeal the decision. Trump is currently charged with 91 counts across four separate indictments in D.C., New York, Georgia, and Florida. The charges include solicitation, racketeering, forgery, false statements, obstruction, conspiracy against civil rights and the willful retention of national defense information.